you might wonder where I am and I'm in the gallery and this is the Samsung S21 Plus and you're watching Venus Pistec VST. If you're here for the first time you might also want to subscribe to the channel. If you're a recurring visitor but still not subscribed, a sub will be much appreciated. In this video today I'm going to be analyzing these two features from the gallery that apparently came in the one to the one. View remastered pictures and check pictures for issues. It seems that besides shooting very nice pictures and videos, your Samsung phone is also able to analyze the pictures that you capture, trying to find the best optimal resolution, but also settings for the brightness, the color and the sharpness, and also recommend some optimizations. And this is why we have AI or the so-called artificial intelligence, right? It's just not used only to have a talking emoji of, um, okay, human faces. <laughs> but how can you use those functions? Very easy, open your phone, go into the gallery, click here on the hamburger menu and click the suggestions. Inside you're gonna see two options. The first one is view remastered pictures, resolution, brightness, color and sharpness have been enhanced automatically. And the second option here is check pictures for issues. So let's start actually with the second one. Check the pictures for issues, review blurry, dark and overexposed pictures to see if they're worth keeping. Someone might ask why this is necessary or required and I think the answer to this is very easy because these pictures are gonna stay here on your phone or later move to a backup and it'll just use space and you're not getting anything from them. So no real memories, everything blurring, etc. All right, let's start. I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna have access to some of the pictures that my phone decided are not worth to be kept. Let's open this one. All right, that's a picture of a desk, not sure why it's there. Okay, this one, the picture of the same desk, but very blurry. And I have some pictures of the moon, which I think are not so bad using the 30X hybrid zoom on my S21 Plus. This one, by the way, is not so good. All right, this one is also good. This one is not so good. This one, I'm even not sure, probably one of my kids did it. And you pretty much get the idea. Now, what can you do from this menu, right? So you can probably go here and decide to keep the picture or delete it from here, right? But you can also just do like this and then select the one you want to keep. So let's say I want to keep all my moon pictures because, you know, this is really as much as you can get from this phone. And also this one, this one is not bad. And I'm going to press here, keep, okay? And boom. Now I'm only left with these pictures that I don't need. For those one, what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to select them all and I'm gonna send them to Oblivion, right? Moving them to the trash, gone. Let's check the second menu here. The view remastered pictures where resolution, brightness, color and sharpness have been enhanced automatically. But hey, what if I don't like this? So let me click here, okay? See the first picture. Increase the resolution. You can see the original resolution here, 768 to 960, which is rather low and the phone pretty much advises to enhance it almost to like 4K. Let's click on the picture, and now guys, you can see the AI imagining happen. Now, okay, I told you, that's a picture from the internet. All right, let's check the picture. I'm gonna click on the picture, and now I'm gonna see here the before and the after, and to tell the truth, the before picture, which is the original picture, again, it's a picture from the internet, is not really of the best quality. You see there is a lot of noise, all the objects are very muffled, the phone is not so readable, the faces are very, very blurred. Now let's see what happens when I just see the after result. And yeah, certainly there is some enhancement going on. Of course, you cannot expect some miracles, but I do think that the enhancement is worth. So if I like it, I can just do like this and then boom. And the image is gonna get saved and move to my gallery. Okay, let's see this one. Again, that's a picture from the internet. Now, this was the original picture. Let me just show. I mean, I know those guys. They're not relevant for you, but I know those guys. And because I can recognize them, yeah, I just know who they are. Let's see this guy here. And by the way, we can also do it like this. Okay, so you see, definitely applying some AI magic and enhancing the picture, okay? Let me just do like this so that you can pretty much see what it does, all right? And you see, it's not so much, but I think it still applies. All right, this one, I don't really care about this. Okay, let me just check that one. Aha, again, it's offering me to increase the resolution. And you see, you can see the tips here. Increase resolution here. This is interesting, guys. Let's do that one. For this picture, which is actually me driving my car, I get the recommendation to improve the brightness, the color, and the sharpness. All right, so let me just see. You know, I was driving my car and actually shooting this at the same time. So, of course, you know, it's bad. And I don't recommend this. Don't do this at home. But, okay, this is the before picture, okay, which you can just see. It's not actually a bad picture. And this is the after picture and you know i think it just blows the highlights a little bit 
Now, honestly, I do prefer the original one because I can see the trace here of my tires. Still, the AI is doing a nice job of improving it because the picture becomes brighter and you can just see a bit more detail. So even see here on the car and etc. So I'm not gonna do that as well. Same here, improve brightness, color and sharpness. Okay, let me go there, all right? This is the original picture. Okay, let me just zoom it like this, okay? Let's, I think this is gonna be a nice example. Original picture, after picture, okay? You see, see here, I think on the tire it's absolutely visible. See here the tire, all right? And when I apply the processing, right? I think it gets a bit more sharp and the overall idea is really very pleasant. Let me just show you. This is the before picture and let me just show you now the after picture. So you see also here the details, also the colors and the sharpness overall I think is good. So I'm gonna save that one. And you see all these pictures are actually saved in your local images fold. Let's see another example because doing this with text will make the most sense and I'm just gonna show you what I mean here. This is a status from Facebook, increase resolution, all right? And you can already see guys, this is here the original picture. You can still read it, but it's not so good. Let's see what happens when we apply the AI magic. You see, it gets sharper, it gets all very, very nice results. So here, before picture, after picture, right? I think you can see and we can tell here there is really notable difference. So I really like this and I'm really happy that Samsung are doing things like this. Very tiny, small things, stock settings, you know, you don't need additional software. We have the object eraser if you don't remember that one. We have now this thing, really very nice from Samsung guys. If you like videos like this, then you might want to subscribe to the channel guys. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments down below the video or join our Telegram channel. Please you and your families guys stay safe. And with that said, VST over and bye.